Live from the Jaguar Den, it is Flower Mound High School Basketball. Alongside Lexi Delormier, I'm Shepard Branch. Thank you for joining us on the Flower Mound Sports Network. Lexi, this is the first action we're going to get from the Flower Mound Jaguars at the scrimmage against McKinney High School. And we're going to go to the National Anthem. That was Jordan Smith, seventh grader from Shadow Ridge Middle School, singing the national anthem. Thank you very much. Back to basketball talk. So it's the Jaguars. It's the first we're going to see from the Jaguars this season, led by senior Isaiah Brown and senior Christian Edmondson. Christian Edmondson is a second-year starter on varsity, along with Isaiah Brown. These guys are electric. They know what they're doing. They have a lot of talent on the team, and... I'm expecting some good things from these Flower Mound Jaguars. Yeah, for sure. The format for tonight is going to be two quarters of varsity basketball, one quarter of JV basketball, two varsity basketball quarters, and then another JV basketball quarter. That is how it's going to stack up for the Jaguars tonight. At the tip is number 33, Christian Edmondson, and for McKinney North, that is number 14. Should be a nice friendly game, not not too competitive, but yeah, obviously course. obviously Coach Littleton is going to want to want to see what his guys are made of. Yes. You know, definitely be playing some some hard defense and yeah. and trying to score offensively. You know, this is a good mm -hmm. McKinney team. Uh, you know, the the better they can show. Uh, you know, obviously it's got to bring some confidence, and yes. that's the first tip to Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown dribbling down to the bucket, shoots, and he misses. Rebound by Ryan Richter down at the bucket. He passes it out to Isaiah Brown. Ryan Richter into the corner. Back up to the top of the key. That's the point guard, Adam Dorsky. Adam Dorsky passes it to Ryan Richter. Isaiah Brown in the corner. Number two playing defense. Adam Dorsky in the corner, passes it back out. And that's a moving screen by number 12, Bryce Boyd. Some good ball movement there on the first possession yes, for the for Jaguars. Sure. Very good offense. Now McKinney bringing the ball up, passes center court. Passes it to number three, Adam Dorsky playing defense. Back up to number one. Number 14 in the corner goes baseline. They trap him down at baseline. Fakes up pass. Tries for the floater, and that's no good. Adam Dorsky pushing the offense for the Jaguars. Passes it out to Ryan Richter. Cross pass to Isaiah Brown. And that'll be Flower Mound ball. Isaiah Brown trying to go down to the bucket baseline, but he could not get it. Still Jaguars ball. Some commotion at the bucket. Screen out. Isaiah Brown for three. And he misses it off the front rim. Ryan Richter with the rebound. Back out to Adam Dorsky at the top of the key. Good ball movement by the Jaguars. Ryan Richter for three. And he misses it off the back rim. Adam Dorsky with the rebound. That's a lot of offensive rebounds for the Jaguars just here in the 
in the first couple minutes of this of this scrimmage against McKinney High School. Yes, they're definitely getting in there. Adam Dorsky throwing the ball in. <laughs> Isaiah Brown in the corner. Gets past his man, shoots from the free throw line, misses it. And another offensive rebound and a foul. Christian Edmondson down. Could not get the and one to go. He's going to be going to the free throw line to shoot two. Foul number 24 from the from McKinney High School. Christian Edmondson makes the first. Two for two from Christian Edmondson. Jaguars lead 2-0 here in the early going. Number three from McKinney is bringing the ball up. Passes it to number one, top of the key. Gets a screen from 24. Getting some good ball movement from McKinney. Pass and cut. Screen by number 24. Shoots a fadeaway, and he misses it. Bryce Boyd with the rebound, and the Jaguars are coming down in transition. That's a three from Bryce Boyd, and he misses it. Oh, almost got the offensive rebound. Number 24 snags it up for the McKinney. Passes out to number three at the top of the key. Swings it out to number one. Isaiah Brown on the defense. Gets a screen from 24. Good help defense by the Jaguars. 14 in the corner. Drives, kicks it. And that's a three from number one. Trying to trap off the inbounds. Bryce Boyd passes it to Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown pulls up for three, and he misses it long off the rim. Ryan Richter fighting down for the rebound. Jaguar ball with 5.18 left in the first quarter. Adam Dorsky with the pass in. Out to Christian Edmondson. Swings it to Bryce Boyd. To Christian Edmondson down low, and he gets the easy layup. Great offense by the Jaguars. Very good play. Tries to go baseline. And that's going to be a foul on number two, Adam Dorsky. McKinney North has the throne. Check that, McKinney. To number two in the corner. Swings it back to the top of the key, number 14. Not a lot of movement in this McKinney offense. Just kind of passing it around the, the perimeter of the, mm -hmm, the three-point line. Some passes. Number 24 for three at the top of the key, and he hits. Drains it. That is two three-pointers given up by the Jaguars early. Adam Dorsky trying to break the pass, press. Ryan Richter for the three, and he misses it again. The Jaguars have yet to make a field goal in this game. And Adam Dorsky takes the charge. The team is off the bench for that charge. Great defense there to take the step Playing in front and take the charge. Playing very aggressive. Absolutely. McKinney with the good defense gets the tip. Pass into Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown dribbles and gets fouled. Push on number two. Jaguars inbounding it again. Third time's the charm. See if they can break the press. Ryan Richter with the ball. Near side. Passes it to Bryce Boyd. Isaiah go. Brown in the center of the court. Puts it up to Adam Dorsky. Adam Dorsky in transition. Pulls up and misses the shot. Another easy one. And the Jaguars just cannot seem to make a shot. They are over for field goals. Yes. McKinney bringing the ball up the court. Guarded by Isaiah Brown, number three. Screen, 24. Adam Dorsky playing defense in the corner. Number two from the corner for three. And that's a third three made by McKinney so far. Jaguars have got to figure out something on defense or they got to start making some shots. Yes, for Pass sure. Pass it out to Adam Dorsky. Isaiah Brown for three. 
and he misses it. Christian Edmondson with the bucket. Christian Edmondson, six points in this game. Ryan Richter playing defense on number one. Isaiah Brown almost jumps in front of the pass. Number 14 pulls up, and it's Isaiah Brown with the rebound. Makes one move. There's three defenders in the backcourt. Adam Dorsey slows the tempo down. Ryan Richter in the corner passes up to Christian Edmondson at the top of the key. Christian Short. Edmondson misses off the front rim. Isaiah Brown with the steal, goes in, and makes the layup. Very good play, very Isaiah good. Brown trying to get this offense started. Couple screens, McKinney, number 24, pass to the corner to number two. Number 24 at the top of the key, drives in, throws up a, a contested shot, Isaiah Brown. Passes it to Adam Dorsky, cross court. Ryan Richter in the corner. Isaiah Brown off the screen, drives up. Tries to shoot, but it, it slips out of his hands, transition for McKinney. Make a cross court pass to number two for three from the corner, and he makes it. He's draining those tonight. That's two threes for number two so far in the game. Pressure from McKinney. Adam Dorsky with the ball. Cuts through two defenders, and he gets fouled. Subbing in for the Jaguars. Number 25, Sid Nair, and number 35, Cole Martin, coming out of the game. Number four, Ryan Richter, and number 12, Bryce Boyd. Cole Martin throwing the ball in. This Jaguars offense has got to get something going if they want to stay in this game. Yes, McKinney for sure. North, McKinney, McKinney just cannot seem to miss a shot from behind the arc. Mm -hmm. Pass it to Christian Edmondson down low, and he gets fouled going up. That's the one thing that's looking very good. Christian Edmondson is getting those looks down in the paint. It's going to yes. be very crucial for this team to, to be able to continue to play mm -hmm. if they are not shooting the ball well like they mm -hmm. are right now. He's got to draw the foul and get to the line. Christian Edmondson, first free throw. And he makes it. Three for three from the free throw line for Christian Edmondson. Jags are down 12 to nine with a minute 46 in the first quarter. Christian Edmondson makes his second shot and he'll be coming out of the game. Number 34, Cade Sutherland, the sophomore, six seven coming into the game. Looks like the Jags are putting that half court press in. Isaiah Brown gets the Good steal. Defense. Isaiah Brown in transition. Sid Nair for three. Long misses it. Number 32 for McKinney coming up. Isaiah Brown on the defense. Isaiah gets the push. Very aggressive on defense, Isaiah Brown is. He knows he's got to make something happen. Got to yeah, get, the, get the tables can. turning. Number one in the cross court, passes across to 32. Number 10 in the corner makes one move. Cade Sutherland gets the foul. Number 10 went baseline there, and Cade Sutherland couldn't move his feet quick enough. Got a little handsy and, and, and yeah. caught the foul. Bounce from McKinney. Number 32 rises up. Air ball. Cold Martin with the rebound. Passes out to Adam Dorsky. Adam Dorsky getting trapped. Cross court to Cold Martin. Back to Adam Dorsky. Cold Martin. Passes it to Sidney Over his head. Nope, he gets it. Now they're going to get into their half court offense. Pass to Isaiah Brown. Kate Sutherland down in the, in the paint. That's a foul on number 32 down in the paint. Adam Dorsky throwing the ball in. Kate Sutherland with the ball, top of the key. Oh, Cold Martin keeps his pivot foot. Adam Dorsky in the corner, the facilitator of the offense. Kate Sutherland. 
and Colton Lard misjudges what Adam Dorsky was going to do and throws the ball out of bounds. Ryan Richter, number four, coming in for Isaiah Brown. Jaguars have got to get some pace in their offense. Seems like yes, seems sure. like they're trying to force a little bit. Mm -hmm. Need to get that that free flowing movement. Mm -hmm. You know, get some shots to fall, and, and this game mm -hmm. will be going going their way. Gotta McKinney with the ball. Rhythm. Fourteen in the corner. I mean, they're just passing it around. No no movement gotta inside. In just everybody's out in the corner. Fourteen for three misses it. Offensive rebound by number thirty two, and there's a foul. Foul on Kate Sutherland. Couldn't couldn't get his position down low. Had to stop him from scoring, so he, he chose to foul. Three with the shot, and he makes it over the top of Cold Martin. That'll be it for the first quarter of play. Jaguars are losing 14-10 to 10 against McKinney High School. Checking into the game, Isaiah Brown and Bryce Boyd. Jaguars did not make a three in that first quarter. That has got to be a record. Cannot sure. remember the last time they did not make a three and a quarter. But only losing by four because of the importance uh, that Coach Littleton has stressed of the post. You know, being able to utilize Christian Edmondson being 6'5". Flymount has not had that in a long time. Somebody who can really play the post. So Coach Littleton has got to be loving that right now. That haven't made a three yet, but... Still yeah, down by sure. four. Once those shots falling, it'll be hard to stop this Jaguar yeah. team. <laughs> Jaguars coming out of the huddle. Starting five back on the floor. Point guard Adam Dorsky. Ryan Richard shooting guard Isaiah Brown. The three, Bryce Boyd playing the four, and Christian Edmondson playing the five. The big man. He's had a great game so far. Great rebounds. That is a positive. They have been getting a lot of yes. offensive rebound. This, That's this, very the height on this team is definitely paying off down low. Yes. Having six players that are over six foot two, you know, very, very crucial, and, and have to be able to utilize that. In this game, obviously missing John Scully. He is out with a foot injury. Do not know the, the severity of it yet, but we wish him well. Jaguars in the half-court press. They're playing some tight defense. 32 from the corner. Ryan Richter with the rebound, pushing the offense. Passes it to Isaiah Brown. Adam Dorsky has the ball. Makes one move. Goes to the bucket. Gets some contact and makes the shot. Adam Dorsky going to be a very good quarter. Penetrated the center and he got the bucket. Jaguars playing some very tight three quarters defense. Trapping the ball wherever it goes. Three pointer from McKinney. They miss. Great box out by the smaller Adam Dorsky. But McKinney gets the rebound. Throws it off Adam Dorsky and the ball is out of bounds. I don't know what Coach Littleton said to them in the huddle but it got them fired up. They're ready to go. Absolutely. Probably something along the lines of you guys better start playing some defense or else I'm going to find some, yeah. some new guys to be out there. Into the corner, number one. To the top of the key, number 32. Three from the corner, misses. Jags are putting some great defense pressure on McKinney. That's a foul from number four, Ryan Richter. Going up against the taller number 32 for McKinney. McKinney throwing the ball in. Number 32 staring down Isaiah Brown. Swing it across. Out to 12. Top of the key. Number one from the corner for three. Misses. And another offensive rebound for McKinney, but they cannot handle it. And that'll be Jaguar ball. Down 14 to 12. 6.42 left in the second quarter. Adam Dorsky with the ball. Bryce Boyd swings it across to Isaiah Brown. Cuts back to the center of the court. Ryan Richter, Christian Edmondson down low. 
Adam George get the top. Good closeout. Christian Edmondson down low, fights, gets a shot off, but it's contested. McKinney comes out with it. In transition, number one, goes up, foul, and one. And one from number one for McKinney. Shooting one for McKinney, it's number one. First free throw that McKinney is going to shoot on the night. And he makes it. Jaguars down 17 to 12. Inbounds, Christian Edmondson. Ryan Richter, pass it across to Isaiah Browns, back to Adam Dorsky. Top, Christian Edmondson, top of the key. Bryce Boyd down the post. A little give and go. Christian Edmondson goes up and he can't get it and he fouls. Playing very aggressive tonight. Maybe a little too aggressive. The yeah. Jaguars have have a lot of fouls Foul so far in this game. Getting a little frustrated, letting those frustrations be seen, getting a little aggressive, absolutely. Number 12 with the ball, gets into the half court. 32 goes up, misses. Christian Edmondson with the rebound. Adam Dorsky going up the center of the court to Isaiah Brown. Christian Edmondson, Ryan Richter in the corner for three. And he misses, a little too long. And another foul on the Fire Mountain Jaguars. Just getting, again, very over aggressive yes. down in the post and some really unnecessary fouls. I think that's really costing them right now. They can't pull off that shot down there. Number 32 at the line for McKinney. Ref has some words for the players, and we're back to action. Makes the first. McKinney's already shooting the one and one tonight. Bryce Boyd with the inbounds to Adam Dorsky. Back to Bryce Boyd. To Isaiah Brown. Cross court to Ryan Richter to the corner. Christian Edmondson. Adam Dorsky at the top of the key. Isaiah Brown pulls up for three, misses it. Jaguars still have yet to make a three in this ball game. 32, makes a move. 12, surveying his options, gets a screen, passes it. Number three, rebound Christian Edmondson. Isaiah Brown down the court, gets fouled, that's a block. can see the frustration in Isaiah Brown wanting to wanting to take charge and get in there and, and make some mm -hmm. make some stuff happen. Yes, I bet that's very frustrating. Isaiah Brown shooting at the line for the Jaguars. Down 19 to 12 with 5 minutes left. Misses his first one. That's the first miss free throw for the Jaguars. Didn't quite get settled there. Number 22 Dylan Gorlick in for number 12, Bryce Boyd. There Isaiah Brown makes the second one. Goes 50% from the line. McKinney bringing the ball up. Number three gets a screen at the top. Now they're trapping on the outside. Takes it into the paint. Number 22 for three, and he's long. Chris Edmondson with the rebound. Adam Dorsky pushing the floor. Makes one move, Isaiah Brown in the corner, and he misses it. Cannot get the offensive rebound, McKinney is in transition. Ryan Richter with the steal. Isaiah Brown with the layup. Good transition offense Very there from the transition. Jaguars. Starting to pick up the pace a little bit. Definitely what the Jaguars wanna see, wanna get that fast paced offense going. Control the game. Yes, for sure. Want to catch back up to the score. 12 at the top of the key, swings it to number three. Nobody's guarding him in the corner, number 22 for three. And he misses it. Rebound by Ryan Richter, good box out. And that's a foul, that's a reach in. Oh no, he double dribbled. 
was left on an island out there. Felt the pressure and and double dribbled. Coming into the game, number 25, Sid Nair for Adam Dorsky. Adam Dorsky finally gets a rest. Number 12 with the ball, swings it to the corner. And that's a three that's missed. Stone Gorlick with the ball, tipped. Isaiah Brown's got it. Almost gets it taken away from him to Ryan Richter. Ryan Richter throws it away. Isaiah Brown handles it. Makes one move and he gets kicked by number 14. And he does not like the call. Runs about halfway across the court just to express his emotions that he did not agree with the call that the referee made. It was a tough call. Now coming into the game, number 12, Bryce Boyd. And the Jaguars will take a timeout. Jaguars team is is looking good. Yes. You know, they have they've gotten the shots they've wanted. Haven't made any of those three pointers that they've taken, but you know, in this in this scrimmage it's it's gotta be all about getting the looks. You you yes, just wanna sure. you wanna be getting the looks, making sure that you're running the offense right. You know, the shots will fall as mm -hmm. as the season goes on, get a little bit more practice, but you know they're controlling the pace, they're controlling the tempo. Now on the defensive side, getting some rebounds, not allowing for offensive rebounds, mm -hmm. but playing that zone defense, it's hard to try and yeah. to try and cover yes. whenever a team doesn't have anybody down in the post that they run those they run the five players out along the perimeter. Mm -hmm. Um definitely hard to try and to try and cover all of those when you don't have you know, four guards playing, but but they're but they're handling it. Yes. Sitting now with Very the ball. Well. Passes it to Ryan Richter. Bryce Boyd in the corner down to Christian Emmons in the post. Makes one move, gets it stolen from him. McKinney in transition. 14 in the corner, passes out to number one. 32, pulls up for three. And he misses it off the backboard. And that's a foul on McKinney. Number three with a foul. Dylan D Gorlick throwing the ball in. Cross court to Sidnair. Jaguars are in transition. Slow the ball down. Oh, and he makes one move. Pass it to Christian Edmondson for the slam. Crazy. Christian Edmondson with the dunk. Great offensive possession by the Jaguars. Got to get them fired up Crucial on the defensive play. side of the ball. Ryan Richter guarding number 12. They are on their toes now for defense. They are ready. Pass to the corner, makes the move down the baseline. Great defense by the Jaguars, swinging it. 14 in the corner for three, and he hits it. Holds the follow through two. He answers the emphatic dunk by the Jaguars, and Ryan Richter throws the ball away. Felt the pressure by McKinney. Tried to make the long pass to Sidney, mm -hmm. didn't judge it properly, slow and, it down. And, and threw it out of bounds. Number 24 coming in for McKinney. Number 12 with the ball. Screen by 24 to number three. Pulls up for three. And he misses it. Rebound by Dylan Gorlick to Ryan Richter. Ryan Richter dribbles between the two defenders. Cross court pass to Dylan Gorlick down low. And he gets pushed by number 12. That's got to be maybe a foot height difference. Number 12 and Dylan Gorlick, number 22. He did not want to have any of... He did not want to be put on the poster, as they say, yes. <laughs> and thought that it would be best to foul him. Dylan Gorlick down on the post. Number 14 getting a little aggressive and commits the foul. Dylan Gorlick at the line, shooting two. Take that one and one. Adam Dorsky coming in for number 33, Christian Edmondson.
Misses the first free throw, rebounded by number 14, and the Mc and McKinney's in transition, guarded by Adam Dworsky. Twenty-four at the top of the key. Twelve. Three. Screen by number twenty-four. Gets it to number twelve in the court. He shoots the three and he misses it. Rebound by Dylan Gorlick. Adam Dorsky. Drives in. Gets it stripped away. McKinney's in transition. Number three goes up. And Dylan Gorlick with the charge. Dylan Gorlick sets his feet and takes the charge. You can hear the McKinney fan base not liking that call. Isaiah Brown with the ball. Pass it to Christian Cold Martin. Cold Martin misses the three. Didn't fall with the rebound. Number one gets it. Coming down the court for McKinney. Number one with the ball. Gets a screen from 24. Isaiah Brown does not step up. Number one hits the shot. Foul on number 12. Jags are shooting one and one as well. 40 seconds left in the second quarter, down 25 to 17. Adam Dorsky makes the first shot. Shooting the second shot. And he makes it two, two for two from the line. Jaguars are in a full court press. Isaiah Brown just loses his man. Passed by number one to number 24 and he goes up and makes the shot over Cold Martin. Adam Dorsky pushing it in. Sitting there in the corner for three. And he gets fouled by number 14. He's gonna go to the line shooting three. Jaguars still yet to make a three-pointer in the game. They've been struggling with those for sure. Right on it, just not close enough. Sidney makes the first shot. Two more coming. Two for two from Sidner. Jaguars down six with 28 seconds left. Misses the third shot. Rebound by number 24. They're in full court press. Kate Sutherland fouls. Twenty-four going to the line for McKinney. Makes the first shot. Two for two from the line. Extends the lead to eight. Adam Dorsky gets the ball. Sitting there, pulls up for three. Misses it. 24 with the rebound. Foul. 24 going to the line for a second go with the free throws.
24 at the line, shooting two. Makes the second one, down 10. Inbound to Adam Dorsky. Adam Dorsky tries to take it along the side. Gets fouled by number 12. Adam Dorsky at the line, shooting one and one. Makes the first shot. Adam Dorsky goes two for two. And that was a violation by the Jaguars. One of the players jumped a little early. Gets the shot called back. Too excited. Inbound to number 14. Foul him. <laughs> Ryan Richter and Sid Nair coming into the game for the sophomores. Colton Martin and Cade Sutherland. Bryce Boyd coming into the game as well for number three, Eli Dukes. 14 at the line, one and one. And he misses the first one. Isaiah Brown with the rebound. Pass it to Ryan Richter in the corner, pump fakes. Isaiah Brown from way back, and he misses it. Rebound. And that's the end of the second quarter. Jaguars down 31 to 22 to McKinney High School. We'll have a five minute intermission and then we'll be back with the JV first quarter of play. We'll be back on Flower Mound Sports Network.
And we're back with Flyer Mound High School basketball alongside Lexi Delormier. I'm Shepard Branch, about to start the first installment of the JV teams. Varsity teams just got done. Jaguars got beat in that quarter. I think it was 32 to 22, if I'm sure. Give or take a few points. Jaguars looked looked really good. Didn't make a lot of shots. Went 0 for from the three-point line, but but a lot of points inside. A lot of good transition points and and a lot of positives to pull for Coach Eric Littleton. Yes, for sure. Coach Brian Merrick talking to his Jaguars JV team. Coach Merrick was the middle school coach. He was, in fact, my middle school coach for basketball. Oh. Seventh and eighth grade. Last year was his first year up at the high school coaching the JV. Fan fantastic coach, fantastic person. <laughs> Great to have Coach Brian Merrick on the, s the team. And we're about to get this game started at center. Number 11, Prithvi Heminer. Number 32, Barrett Harms. Number 15, Justin Taylor. Number 11, Tom, uh, number 12, Thomas Kane. Justin Taylor playing defense number three for the McKinney Lions. Pass it out to the corner. Cross court pass three from number 14 and he misses it. Offensive rebound by number 12, Thomas Kane. Thomas Kane looks for it. Prithvi Heminar down low gets blocked out to Justin Taylor. And that's a steal from number 11. And he goes right into Thomas Kane. They go, they both go up. And Thomas just takes the ball from him, but they call a foul. These refs do not like contact. No, they do not. Good or bad, they, they do will not, not like have contact. It. And <laughs> they will call a foul on it. Number 11 at the free throw line. The Jags are going to have to make a big adjustment to that. And he makes the first shot. Two for two from the free three from the free throw line. Thomas Kane pass to Ben Hanley. Ben Hanley makes a move. Cross court pass to Barrett Harms and it's out in front of him. Pass in. To number three. Goes up. Number thirty two gets the offensive rebound. Pass it out to number eleven. Cross court to number three. Drives in, makes a move on Ben Hanley. And he gets the and one, Ben Hanley. Ben Hanley tried to go over the top and get the block, but number three said, I'm not having any of that. Got nope. the and one, and he's going to be going to the free throw line. Makes his free throw, gets the and one. Coming into the game, number five, Colin Wet Money Bucket Staples. <laughs> Justin Taylor throwing the ball in. Thomas Kane dribbling up, makes a move. Pass to Barrett Harms. Makes a move. Shoots for three, and he misses it. Colin Staples with the offensive rebound, goes up and gets fouled. Good offensive rebound by Staples. Scapel misses the first free throw. Looked like he got a little tentative there, a little quick with the mm -hmm. wrist. Tugged it a little bit. Misses the second one, goes over. And that's a foul. On number 11, Prithvi Heminar. Getting a little aggressive down low, a little frustrated. Again, these refs do not like the contact. Nope, they will not have it. McKinney, Lions with the ball. Pass into number three. Trap defense. And they're calling a Good jump trap. ball. Good trap. That'll be 
the, the Jaguars ball. White ball. A little confusion down on the court between the referees. Determining it is white ball. It's always a good call. Justin Taylor passes it into Thomas Kane. Goes down the seam, passes it up to Barrett Harms for three. Misses it. Colin Scapel with the offensive rebound. That's the second of the game. Goes in. Griffin Heminar with the rebound. Swings it. Justin Taylor for three. Misses it. Jaguars cannot seem to make they a three. Another offensive it rebound. Colin Scapel falls to the ground. And Coach Merritt gets a timeout before things get any worse. That'll be the first charge timeout for the Jaguars. Something must be in the Gatorade, Lexi, because the Jaguars just cannot seem to make a three. Both teams started with struggling. the varsity team through two quarters, didn't make a three, and and, and the JV team has they not are hit right a three on yet. it, just almost haven't airballed though. No, that so is they're close. Yeah, but that just shows how difficult the game of basketball yes. is, you know. Of course, yes, for sure. I can only imagine Coach Merrick is telling his team right now along the lines of good offensive movement, great offensive rebounding, just got to start making those shots. They make yes. a couple shots and, you know, a 5-0 game goes to a 10-5 game, mm -hmm. you know? It's picks up the it's, pace it's for how sure. It's how important shooting is for this Jaguar team. The offense that they play, you know, making shots mm -hmm. is, is something that they do and that's, they, you know, they live and die by that. And yes. Not as much on the varsity team. Varsity team has a has has that height. Passes mm -hmm. it in to Priffy Heminar. Priffy Heminar misses the layup, gets the offensive rebound, goes back up and gets the bucket. Just trying to boost the stats down there, misses the shot, gets his own rebound. And they get the steal. Colin Scapel goes up, makes a layup. Good pressure by the Jaguars defensively. Gets another steal. Barrett Harms jumps in front of the pass. And throws oh. it right away. To number three, goes up and gets fouled. Very quick movement. Number three makes the first shot. Coming into the game, number 40, Jack Miller, and number 31, Corey McElroy. Second shot from number three is missed. Jerry with the rebound. Jerry rocking the Allen Iverson corn rose. I love it. Cross court pass to Barrett Harms for a three, for the first three of the season, and he gets it. Barrett Harms with the three. Full court press from the Jaguars, passes it in. McKinney. Somebody lost their man, number three, wide open. Throwing the ball around, letting his guys get set. Number 11, guard by Colin Scapel, the back cut. Jack Miller with the foul, couldn't get in front of him. In fact, stuck his leg out and gets charged with the foul. A plethora of players coming in for McKinney. Everybody but number three is out of the game. Plethora, vocab word of the day. <laughs> number three, passes the ball into number four, gets the ball. Rocking the Kobe 10 Christmases. Number 25 in the corner, goes baseline. Number three goes in the corner, contested shot. Jaguars don't get the rebound, they just let it dribble out of play. Jaguars ball with 502 left in the first quarter, up seven to six. Back to Jerry McElroy. Thomas Kane with the ball, dribbling through the offense, passes it to Jack Miller. Jack Miller slips through his hands, but he passes it back out. Thomas Kane dribbles in. Jack Miller down low. Gets some contact, misses the layup. They're kind of some blind passes that they were making. And it's gonna stay white ball.
Thomas Kane with the ball. Pass it to Colin Scapel. Wet money bucket, Scapel for three, misses. Jerry down low. Looking like a man amongst boys. Very physical, physical down low. Yes, for sure. Oh, mm. and they call the foul on Colin Scapel. They both went up. Looked like an NFL play. Tom Brady dropping back, throws the pass. Intercepted by Colin Scapel, but they call a defensive pass interference. Here at FMFM, we do not just do basketball. We also <laughs> do football. Let us know. Yes. <laughs> pass into number three. Goes into the paint. Number 34 can't handle it. Thomas Kane feels the ball. Who's going to pick it up? Gets it to Dennis. Dennis goes up. Cannot finish on the layup. Jerry McElroy gets the ball. Passes it out. Murphy Beckham for the shot. Makes the three. Murphy Beckham with the three. Jaguars are in a full court press. And they call a timeout. McKinney calls a timeout. The Jags are definitely p uh, picking up their offense now. Absolutely. Playing at a little faster pace. A little bit more controlled. They are definitely controlling the game. Very physical down low. Coach Mace has got to be very pleased with how his team is playing so far. Shots are starting to go in. And yes, for sure. Game is 5-0 with no threes. And they've made a couple threes. And, and now they're up to the fourth and doubled the McKinney Lions score. court for the Jaguars. It was Dennis Newcomb, Jacob Langley, Thomas Kane, Murphy Beckham, and Jerry McElroy. This game is brought to you, check that, this scrimmage, not necessarily a game, a scrimmage is brought to you by Flower Mound Sports Network. Kinney has the ball with 3.59 left in the first quarter. Down 12 to 6 to the Flower Mound Jaguars. Number four throwing the ball in. Let's see if the Jaguars can get another defensive turnover here. Tipped at the. Tipped whenever he tried to throw it in by Jerry McElroy. Goes out of bounds. We'll have a redo. defense throws it in another turnover caused by the Jaguars Dennis with the shot aim makes it Jaguars on a 14 to 1 run pass it in to number 34 pass it up to number 12 three straighters pass it back great defense goes up gets the side of the rim but they call a push and number 31 Jerry McElroy with a foul Said that they pushed him on the shot. Number 12 for McKinney shooting two. Makes the first one. Coming into the game, number two, Ricky Rijos. Second shot is good. Two for two from the free throw line for number 12. Subs coming in. Number 20 and number 21. Dennis with the ball. Makes one move. Dribbles right down the heart of the D. Pass it to Murphy Beckham. And Murphy gets the easy layup. Great transition offense from the Jaguars. Pass it in to number three. Kraft. Jacob Langley on defense. Great on ball defense. Jerry's coming over, pass it to number four. Number four at the three-point line. They're trapping everywhere. Jaguars are putting on the pressure, but number four dribbles right through the defense. Stolen. Ricky Rijos comes up with it. Cross-court pass to Dennis Lupin, and it almost gets picked off. Oh, but he goes out of bounds to try and make the save. Stepped on the line. Jaguar ball with 3.02 left in the first quarter. Jaguars are up 16 to eight on the McKinney Lions.
Jacob Langley for three from deep, and Jacob Langley hits the three. Very far out there. Three threes so far from the Jaguars. And they're getting passes, that, and nobody wants to pick up the ball. That'll be Jaguars' ball. They have created so many turnovers off of the inbounds plays on the other side of the court. Yes, they're keeping it on their side for sure. Pass to Jacob Langley, wide open from the corner, misses it. Jaron tries to get the rebound, cannot get it. Great full court pressure. Pass to the free corner, number 21. Number 21 drives in to the corner. Tries to go baseline, makes a move. Out to number four. Pump fakes to 20. Shoots from deep, and he air balls it. The Kinney coach is not very happy with the shot selection. A whole new crowd coming in here for the Jaguars. Coming into the game, number four, Caden Freeman, number 25, Jalen Wright, and number 14, Adam Jones. Staying in the game, Ricky Rehos and Dennis Lupin. Caden Freeman gets the ball. Passes the ball to the top of the key to Jalen Wright. Out to Dennis. Ricky Rehos in the corner. Down low to Adam Jones. Adam Jones makes one move and gets the layup. 21 to three run. Jaguars are on fire and they force another turnover. Number three from McKinney throws the ball away. The Jags are doing a very good job of looking inside to get that post up. Absolutely. I mean, just easy layups. Field goal percentage has got to be very high. Dennis Lupin makes a move, gets the ball, stripped away from him. McKinney comes up with the ball. Jaguars just feeling full court pressure. Get another turnover. Adam Jones get fouled, and he misses the end one. So close. Shooting two for the Jaguars, number 14, Adam Jones. First shot is good. Adam Jones misses the second free throw. Jalen Wright with the offensive rebound. Takes it back out to the top of the key. Caden Freeman with the ball. Throws it down to Adam Jones on the block. Ricky Rehost from the three. And he misses, follows up his rebound, can't get it. Number 12, good transition offense by the Lions. Number 22 goes up, misses it. Adam Jones gets the rebound. Dennis Lupin coming down the heart of the defense. Caden Freeman in the corner, misses. Defensive rebound. Ricky Rehost gets the steal, throws it back. Lions with the ball, coming down. And that's a charge. Charged by Caden Freeman, gets in front of the number 12 for the Lions. Steps in front of them and draws the offensive charge. Very well executed. Number 30, Ben Hanley is coming into the game for number two, Ricky Rehos. Dennis Lupin with the ball. Caden Freeman coming down. Jalen Wright, Ben Hanley in the corner. Dribbles it up to the top. Caden Freeman in the corner, pump fakes. Jalen Wright steps up for three. Banks it off the back, hits off the rim. Defensive rebound by the Lions. Coming down the cross court. Long three, and he misses it. Jalen Wright with the rebound. Ben Hanley in the corner for three, and he misses it. Offensive rebound by the Jaguars. Adam Jones down low. Makes one move, misses the putback. That'll be Lions ball. Outlast off the Jaguars. Playing a man, full court defense, Jalen Wright on the ball. Ben Hanley goes up and gets the steal. Gets it to Dennis Lupin and he gets the easy layup. Another steal for the Jaguars. Great play. Can he bring the ball up? Trapped again. Almost the steal, number 20 still has the ball. Picks up his dribble, gets it to 22. 
into the corner. That's a three-pointer, and he misses it. That's the end of the quarter for the Jaguars, 24 to eight. They won the quarter, down five to zero to start the game, go on a 24 to three run and blow out McKinney High School. They really started picking it up there. Absolutely, we're gonna take a minute break. We will be back on Flower Mound Sports Network. It's the Varsity Network. And we're back at the Jaguar Den alongside Lexi Delormier. I'm Shepard Branch. We're getting ready for our last two quarters of varsity basketball. Jaguars lost the first two quarters to McKinney. Didn't make a three through th two quarters. Had a lot of good offensive possessions. Created a couple turnovers. A lot of offensive rebounds. Just, just couldn't get those long balls to go in. Hopefully, after the talk that Coach Lillerton had with them at halftime, Shots will be able to start falling, be able to get some more open looks. We have eight minutes a quarter. And I'm ready for some basketball. Let's yes, get to for it. Sure. Coach Eric Littleton is putting out the starting five. That is Adam Dorsky at point guard, Ryan Richter playing the two, Isaiah Brown playing the three, Bryce Boyd playing the four, and Christian Edmondson, the big man down low. Definitely the highlight of the first two quarters was Christian Edmondson's emphatic dunk that he had, and that's the game. Ryan Richter goes up, gets blocked by number 10. Trying to get the ball back, and he fouls. A little frustrated. We're eight seconds in and the Jaguars have already had their first foul. McKinney with the ball. Pass to number two in the corner, back out to tw number one. To number 32 in the corner and he hits the jumper on the baseline. McKinney coming with the full court press again. Isaiah Brown goes cross court to Ryan Richter. Number 32 intercepts it, but he steps out of bounds. Could not catch his feet. Bryce Boyd inbounding to Adam Dorsky. Pass to Christian Edmondson. 
Bryce Boyd did not set the screen properly. And that'll be a foul. Set a moving screen. McKinney ball, number one. To 32 at the top of the key. Number three to number one. Number one for the shot. And he makes it. That's another three for number one. Third of the game. Adam Dorsky gets trapped in the corner. And he gets the ball taken. But it's a travel on blue. He rolled over himself. Anytime you roll on the ground, that is a travel. Mm -hmm. Ref saw it, made the right call. Bryce Boyd with the inbound to Adam Dorsky. Full court pressure from McKinney. To Ryan Richter. Makes a spin move. To Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown pulls up from the baseline, makes the shot. Jacks are down five to two. A minute and some change into the game. Playing a three quarters press defense. 32, number one, the top of the key for three, and he misses it. Christian Edmondson with the rebound. Would like to see him run right there, get a little fast pace, but he slows it down. To Ryan Richter, to Christian Edmondson, and Edmondson goes up, fouls him. Was probably looking for a dunk there, thought Couldn't not gonna try and risk it, tried to lay it up, and he got fouled. He's gonna go to the line to shoot two. Christian Edmondson was the leading scorer for the Jaguars in the first two quarters, and he adds another point. Misses the second one. Isaiah Brown tried to go for the rebound, and he gets fouled. Check that. Fouls, number 32 for McKinney. Number one, bringing the ball up, guarded by Isaiah Brown. Number one at the top of the key, passes it to number three. He rises up, shoots a three, misses it. Rebound by Bryce Boyd. Adam Jorski goes up to center to Ryan Richter in the corner for three, and he air balls it. Couldn't get an oh, offensive rebound by Isaiah Brown. Shoots for three, gets that block. Two air balls in a row for the Jaguars, still yet with a three-pointer made. Down five to three with 540 left in the game. Left in the third quarter, Isaiah Brown. Another foul, that is the third foul by the Jaguars mm. here in less than three minutes. Just having to be very careful with their hands. Just gotta take into account that these refs aren't gonna Mm -hmm. aren't going to give that call. Number two for three, and he, and he hits it. Another three for McKinney. Pass it to Ryan Richter, cross court to Isaiah Brown. He goes baseline. Number two with the foul. Isaiah Brown went baseline. Didn't want him to get past him, so he used the hands. Pass into Bryce Boyd. Bryce Boyd from the corner. Number two with the rebound. Number 10 with the dunk in transition. And now it's four on one for the Jaguars. Ryan Richter. Okay, Isaiah Brown, Christian Edmondson down low. Number two tries to get out there. He does not set his feet and he gets a block. Ryan Richter from the corner, misses the three. Offensive rebound by Christian Edmondson, down low to Adam Dorsky, and he gets the easy layup. Very good Good offensive look. rebounding by the Jaguars, and they get easy points. Number two makes a move into the center. 32 goes in, makes the fade away. Isaiah Brown, cross court to Ryan Richter, into the center to Bryce Boyd. Goes up, gets blocked, and it's a foul. They call a foul on number 32. Bryce Boyd goes up for the layup. A little contact, he came over the top, says the ref. Bryce Boyd shooting two.
Bryce Boyd makes the first shot. This is the second shot. McKinney lines with the ball. Three to one. Back to number three. Goes into the center, passes out to number one. He shoots the three, misses it off the front rim. Rebounded by Christian Edmonton. Adam Dorsky with the move. That's a travel by number three. Another forced turnover by the Jaguars. Isaiah Brown throwing the ball in. Adam Dorsky gets it covered by number one. Passes it to Christian Edmondson. To Dylan Gorlick at the top of the key. Isaiah Brown sitting there in the corner. Adam Dorsky, Dylan Gorlick. Good ball movement by the Jaguars, getting those open shots. Adam Dorsky passes on the shot to Christian Edmondson down low, makes one move, and he gets the and one. Christian Edmondson down low, uses the strength, gets the and one to go. This is the and one try. Isaiah Brown tries to get the offensive rebound. Cannot. Number three bringing the ball up for McKinney. McKinney slowing down the pace, trying to get that ball movement going. Swinging it around the outside. Number two in the corner. Top of the key, number one. Passes it to number three. Into the corner. And he travels. Does not set his feet. His head was moving before his feet were moving. Told himself to move, feet did not cooperate. That's a travel. Great defensive possession by the Jaguars, getting another stop. Isaiah Brown back to Christian Edmondson. See if they can get out of this corner. And that's a foul from number 24. Hard to try and stay in front of Isaiah Brown, especially whenever he is moving at that quick pace. Got past number 24, number 24, fouled him. Sid Nair goes in, brings it out. Oh, and he just crosses over number two, but he cannot convert. Number two went left, Sid Nair stopped, and number two could not handle it. Number two for the three, but he comes back and hits the three. Makes up for getting his ankles absolutely broken. And that is a foul. McKinney with the foul. I have Quite to tell you play. What, that was insane to watch. Sidnair could not convert after breaking the ankles of the <laughs> defender. Number two comes back down and says, you didn't make yours, so I'm going to make mine, and puts it in the bottom of the net. Isaiah Brown in to Sidnair. Great thing is, is we got that on video. <laughs> Isaiah Brown with the bucket. Almost with the steal, Isaiah Brown. Oh, number two from the corner, and Christian Edmondson says, I'm not gonna have any of that. Swats it back into the bench. It was all in his face. Knew that number two was gonna try and shoot that shot. And that's a steal from Adam Dorsey. Isaiah Brown coming in, and he takes it to slam town. Isaiah Brown with the transition dunk, getting this Jaguar team fired up. Oh, I Christian Edmondson almost got the steal. Couldn't quite figure out who it went off of. It'll be McKinney Ball. Isaiah Brown on number one. Back to number one, dribbles it in. Number two in the corner, goes baseline, goes into the middle, passes it to number 24. 24 goes in, loses the ball off of a Jaguar defender. It'll stay McKinney ball. Number 
three, passing it in. Out to number one from deep, and he hits it, leaving number one open, and he continues to hit three after three. Into sitting there, Isaiah Brown with the ball. Isaiah Brown tries to thread the needle with the pass, and it gets stolen. Number three goes up, and he gets the transition bucket. Out to Adam Dorsky. Out to Sidnair. Sidnair's gonna pull the trigger from three. Misses, gets the offensive rebound. Adam Dorsky shoots. Adam Dorsky hits the first three of this game for the Jaguar. Very Jaguars good recovery. are only down by three points, 20 to 17 with a minute left in the first quarter. Foul on number one, got a little aggressive on the rebound. Inbounding for the Jaguars, number 33, Christian Edmondson. Adam Jorski gets a pass, pass half court. Isaiah Brown, Christian Edmondson at the top of the key, down to Dylan Gorlick. Dylan Gorlick gets pushed by number 23. It'll stay Jaguar ball on the baseline. Jaguars down 20 to 17 in the third quarter with 41 seconds left. Adam Dorsky with the inbound. To Christian Edmondson, Dylan Gorlick top of the key. Adam Dorsky into Christian Edmondson down low. Rises up over two defenders, cannot make the bucket. Number three for the Lions bringing the ball up. Out to number 20, nobody on him. To number three. Just swinging a ball the around the perimeter, looking for the open shot. Number two in the corner, he'll pull the trigger. Six seconds left in the game. Isaiah Brown playing the defense. No, he did not get the shot off. He did not Couldn't get the get shot off. Couldn't get it soon off. enough. Jaguars coming out of the third quarter of play. Down only three points. Got the first three to drop from Adam Dorsky. Hopefully more will come. Got to get some more threes going if they're going to win this, this two quarters of play. Yes, for sure. Number one, Adam Dorsky playing the defense. Check that, Ryan Richter. Pass to number 24. Into the corner, three-pointer. Misses it. Bryce Boy with the rebound. And that's a foul on number 14 from the McKinney Lions. Jaguars shooting the one and one already. Bryce Boyd. First shot, and he makes it. 
He'll be shooting another. And the second shot goes for Bryce Boyd. Number one bringing the ball up to the corner. Bryce Boyd out in Dorsey with the trap. Number one to 12. Cross court. Back to number one. Trying to find that open shot. Number 12 to the corner. Number 14. Out of Ryan Richter with the steal. In transition, it's Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown tries to shoot across his body, can't get it to go. Oh, Ryan Richter with the steal. Goes up and gets fouled. Foul on number one, Ryan Richter gets the steal. Goes up hard and gets the foul. He'll be going to the line for two. Very good defense. The defense of this Jaguars, very, very impressive. Has not yes. been a super strong suit for them in the past, but this team is very disciplined and and they they are scrappy. They play some scrappy defense. Yes. Ryan Richter misses the first one, misses the second one. He goes 0 for 2 from the free throw line. McKinney lines in transition. Ryan Richter. Oh! And the referee from the baseline calls a foul. He calls it away from the ball. And coming into the game, number 33, Christian Edmondson. Coming out of the game, number 34, Kate Sutherland. Kate Sutherland, he's a 6'7", sophomore, first yes. year on varsity. He is a, a big contributor to the success of this Jaguar team, being able to come in and, and play some really good post defense. And that's a foul on the McKinney Lions. Bryce Boyd is going to be going to the free throw line for the one and one. Bryce Boyd makes the first free throw. He's three for three so far. That is the one thing that Coach Littleton stresses a lot. Free throws, free throws, yes. free throws. Easy points have got to be able important. to make them. Bryce Boyd misses the second free throw, and they call the foul on Ryan Richter. Ryan Richter trying to reach in, get the steal. Number one bringing it up. Pass to number 14, Isaiah Brown playing defense. Trying to trap on the ball, cross court to number 14. Ryan Richter passes it to number 22 and it goes through his hands out of bounds. Bryce Boyd passes in to Isaiah Brown, cross court. Adam Dorsky, Christian Edmondson in the middle to Isaiah Brown. Up to Adam Dorsky, pass it to Ryan Richter in the corner, Ryan Richter for three. And he makes it. Second three-pointer of the Jaguars for the game. Now up 23 to 20. Came back from a seven-point deficit after the third quarter. Number 24 down low. Three Jaguar defenders. Now number 14 out. Tries to go baseline. Goes across. Ryan Richter teleport, telegraphs the pass. Isaiah Brown in transition. Isaiah Brown pulls up for three, and he hits it. That's back-to-back -back threes for the Jaguars. Down to number one. Number 14 in the corner pulls the three, and he misses. Offensive rebound by the Jaguars, and they're going to go into transition. Pass to number four, Ryan Richter, and it gets tipped, but he gets the rebound back to Adam Dorsky. Down to Ryan Richter, to Adam Dorsky, Christian Edmondson at the top. And he makes the three. That's the big man, Christian Edmondson, stepping out and hitting the three. Three threes in the row for the Jaguars, and McKinney's going to take a timeout.
fly around Jaguars go on a 12-0 to zero run to start the fourth quarter, hitting three threes, three threes in a row. That is the Jaguar basketball that we know and love, shooting from the perimeter, making those shots, getting those transition offense points, and it has resulted in a nine-point lead. Just shows that these Jaguars, if they're not making the shots, can, can stick in the game, but whenever those shots stop start falling, they can run away with it. Yes, for sure. This broadcast is brought to you by Flower Mound Sports Network. Alongside Lexi Delormier, I'm Shepard Branch. It's been a pleasure broadcasting this game with you tonight. Still have five more minutes of this game. And then we've got one more quarter of JV basketball to play. It's been a great night so far. Still got some... Still got yes. some work left. Absolutely. The McKinney Lions will be getting the ball to coming out of the timeout. Isaiah Brown, the first line of defense. Defense. Trapped by Isaiah Brown and Adam Dorsky. Number one into the middle to 24. Turns around, steps up, hits it. Offensive rebound by number 12. Adam Dorsky did not box out on that. His man went right past him. Number four, Ryan Richter passes it to Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown from deep, and he hits it. Isaiah Brown has caught fire. Six points in the last minute, two threes. And the Jaguars are up 10 points. That's a three from number three, and he hits it. Answers the call. Number 14 with the contest on Adam Dorsky, and it'll stay Jaguar ball. Bryce Boyd throwing the ball in. Isaiah Brown with the ball, surveying his options. Throws it to Chris Samuelson. Back out to Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown from deep, and he hits it again. That's NBA range for Isaiah Brown. Four threes Goodness. in the last four minutes, and Isaiah Brown has single-handedly taken this Jaguar team to a 10-point lead. These are some very long shots from Isaiah. Jake Feichert-esque. And that's a foul on the Jaguars. Bryce Boyd with the hold. Number 32 coming in for number 24 for McKinney. Number one throwing the ball in. To the corner. And he throws the ball out of bounds. Number 12 tries to find number 32 with the soft pass, and he cannot find it. Another turnover from the McKinney Lions. Number 14 plays good on ball defense. Adam Dorsky gets the ball. Bryce Boyd to Ryan Richter. To Christian Edmondson down the lane. Christian Edmondson goes up for the slam. Emphatic dunk by Christian Edmondson. Isaiah Brown almost with the steal. Good on-ball defense. Number one gets past him to number 12. Into the center. Number 32 gets his rebound and a foul on Ryan Richter. He was on the ground. They still call the foul. That gives number 32 the chance to get the famous and one. Two shots and one. Number 32 with the free throw. And he makes it. Cuts the Jaguar lead to nine. Christian Edmondson down the center. Ryan Richter steps back, misses the three. Bryce Boyd gets the offensive rebound, puts it up. Christian Edmondson gets the other offensive the rebound, and he makes the putback. Christian Edmondson. Jaguars are up 39 to 28 with two minutes and 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Number three goes into the lane, rises up and misses the shot, Christian Edmondson. Jaguars are in transition, Ryan Richter coming down the near side. Passes it to Adam Dorsky, Adam Dorsky goes down. Passes it out to Isaiah Brown, Isaiah Brown cuts in. Passes it across to Christian Edmondson for three, and he hits it! That's the big man, he is the number five. 
playing the big man Christian Edmondson knocks it down. That is two threes for him in this game. Number three driving in, falls down to number two. Lackadaisical pass to number one, into the center. Bryce Boyd with the defense and he makes the turnaround jumper. That was number 32. And that'll be a timeout from McKinney High School. We're gonna take it with them. We'll be right back on Flower Mound Sports Network. Back at the Jaguar Den. Flower Mound Jaguars are leading 42 to 30 with two minutes and 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. This game has been split up. They played two quarters. JV played one quarter. Then the varsity is back to play two quarters. They reset the clock, the score. So this is just of the last two quarters. Ryan Richter with the ball, brings it back out to half court. Makes a couple moves, gets it to Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown gets past him. Gets it right back out to Ryan Richter. Ryan Richter makes a move. Back out to Isaiah Brown. Gets past his man. Goes into the center. Bryce Boyd goes up and he gets the and one. Great play by Isaiah Brown to get past his defender. Go down, draw the defenders down in the paint. Dish it off to Bryce Boyd and Bryce Boyd has the easy layup. Gets hit on the way, and he's going to be shooting for the and one. And he makes it. Jaguars lead by 15 points with a minute 30 left in the game. Number three drives into the lane, goes up, and he gets the easy layup. Bryce Boyd in the center. Brian Richter cross court to Adam Dorsky. Dorsky's getting trapped. Bryce Boyd. And Bryce Boyd travels. They call a travel on Bryce Boyd in the corner. That'll be a turnover on the Jaguars. McKinney Lions ball with a minute and seven seconds left in the game. Ryan Richter with the ball. Christian Edmondson going up and he gets the slam. Christian Edmondson, no defenders on him. Rebound by Ryan Richter. Fighting for the ball, Ryan Richter keeps it. That'll be a jump ball. Coming in for the Jaguars, number 35, Cold Martin. And number five, Freddie Jackson. Adam Dorsky in with the ball, getting trapped. That'll be a 30 second timeout by Coach Littleton and the Jaguars. 19 seconds left in the game, up 47 to 32.
McKinney Jaguars have had a tough go at this second two quarters of play. Jaguars have been hitting the shots that they've needed to hit, playing the defense that they've needed to play, play and that's why they have a 15-point lead. That'll be a turnover by Eli Dukes. Number three with the ball, corner to number one. Rises up, and he misses a shot rebound by Cold Martin. Adam Dorsky dribbling the ball. One second left, Cold Martin shoots a three, and that'll do it. We'll be right back with the JV basketball game here on Flower Mount Sports Network. Here with Coach Eric Littleton. Coach, your team played very well in the first two quarters. Mm -hmm. Didn't make the three-pointers that you were probably looking for, but, you know, got a lot of points inside. Talk about the first two quarters. Uh, bottom line is you said it right, Shepard. We missed a lot of shots. You know, we were 0-14 from behind the, f the arc. We live and die with that, and so we're okay with that. We told the guys at halftime, uh, keep throwing it up there. Uh, we shoot the ball well, and good shooters will start shooting the ball well and hitting shots. The thing I was really proud of after the first half, and I told our guys this at halftime, we were really good defensively. We, uh, we held them to 24 points up until that about a minute and 15, minute and 16 mark, and we started fouling, just trying to do some late game situation stuff, and they hit their free throws. But normally, in a regular game, we're not gonna be fouling there. We're gonna go into halftime down five or six, being 0 for 14 from the three point arc, and tell our guys keep firing because shots will start falling. That's what happened in the second half, is shots started falling. Now you talked about being 0 for 14 from the three-point line, only a five-point game. Talk about how how great it is to have Christian Edmondson and Bryce Boyd down low, somebody who you can throw it down to, to get those points when you're not getting it from the perimeter. This is a it's, it's a new it's, it's a new phase of our offensive scheme here to have a post player down there that's bigger than six foot two to throw it to, and so we're um we're enjoying Christian down there. Bryce Boyd's a great offensive rebounder. Dylan Gorlick's a factor down there. Our two sophomores, Cade Sutherland and Colton Martin are bangers in the post as well. So we finally, after three years here, we finally have some size down in the paint and we're really enjoying that. Those guys are great. Absolutely, you talked about the turnovers. You guys caused a lot of turnovers, a lot of points off turnovers. How, how important is it coming down the stretch of a game to be able to cause those turnovers and, and get those turnovers to, to easy points? You know, we, uh, we were really displeased Saturday in our scrimmage at Prosper with how we played defensively. We had gave up a lot of dribble penetration. We uh, didn't contain the basketball, so we spent all week working on that. I thought in the first half we did a good job of that. We didn't give them points in the paint, Shepard, and we really fixate upon that. Now, they hit some threes, but we'll live and die with that. You know, if you can hit set, uh, 20 threes a game, you're going to beat us, but we're going to make you hit that shot. And uh, fir the first two halves of this, this scrimmage, we did a real good job protecting the paint, and that's key for us. Yes, sir. That is Coach Eric Littleton. Coach, thank you for the interview. Good luck throughout the season. Back at the Jaguar den, it's JV Jaguar basketball. Justin Taylor in the corner. 
Crispy Heminar with the baby hook. Gets the offensive rebound, goes up, and it gets, gets it stripped. Number 21 for McKinney. That's a push by number 12, Thomas Kane. Thank you very much, Coach Littleton, for joining us after the game. Always love being able to talk with the brains behind the operation when it comes to Jaguar basketball. Ben Hanley on the defense. Number 30 on number 11. Number three in the corner. Number 12 goes baseline, goes up, makes a windmill-esque move. Ben Hanley with the, take that back. Brett Barrett Harms with the rebound and Justin Taylor with the easy layup bucket. Great transition offense. Justin Taylor with the foul. Tried to get the, the steal. Got called with the reach. Jaguars start off a five to zero against McKinney. A minute 30 into the game. Number three dribbles through the defense. Pass it up to the top of key, number 21. Justin Taylor on the defense. Swings it to number three. Pump fake. Pulls up from inside the arc and he hits it. Transition offense for the Jaguars. Barrett Harms from three. This is it. Ben Hanley goes up for the rebound. And it's going to be blue ball. Lions throw the ball in. Back to the number 14. Barrett Harms tries to stop. The Lions gets the kick ball. Stay line ball. Number three getting tracked by Justin Taylor and Ben Hanley and Justin Taylor comes up with the steal. Going into transition, gets tripped and that's a foul on number 14. <laughs> Throwing it in, Ben Hanley to Baird Harms in the corner. Misses the three, Crispy Heminar with the rebound. Thomas Kane at the top of the key. Red Harms dribbles in, Thomas Kane from way out, misses it. Crispy Heminar with the foul came over the top of number 34 for McKinney, gets the foul called. McKinney coach does not sound very happy right now with how his team is playing. Still down five to two. Get it into the middle, gives the give and go to number 20. Three on one. Crispy Heminar takes the charge. Tell you what, if I know Coach Merrick, it's that he loves when his players step in front of the offensive player and take the charge. Ben Hanley going baseline, going up, gets it to Crispy Heminar with the little floater, and he hits it. Inbounds to number three, Ben Hanley on the defense. Doing the same little crossover move. Goes up. Cannot get it. Justin Taylor with the rebound on his pivot foot. Dribbling down. Looking for who he's going to pass it to. Ben Hanley for three. Misses it. Rebound by number 34. Good defense by Justin Taylor. And he gets his player to double dribble. Probably didn't help that the coach was yelling right in his ear. But it happens. It happens. Inbounding Ben Hanley. Passes it to Barrett Harms in the corner. Wide open three. And he misses it. Crispy Heminar with the offensive rebound. Passes out to Hanley. Barrett Harms in the corner. Crispy Heminar down the post. Justin Taylor at the top of the key. Shoots for three. Misses it off the front rim. Offensive rebound by Barrett Harms. Goes up. Gets the easy layup to go. More points off of offensive rebounds for the Jaguars up nine to two 
with 440 left in the second quarter, which is the last quarter of this scrimmage for the JV team. Baron Harms almost with the steal. Number four for the Lions. To number 10, drives in. Another steal by Justin Taylor. Justin Taylor going into transition. Baron Harms drives in, gives it to Presley Heminar. Goes for the little hook, goes up for the offensive rebound, and he fouls. A whole new five coming in for the Jaguars. So begin Colin Scapel, number five. Number 31, Jerry McElroy. Number 14, Adam Jones. Number two, Ricky Rehos. And number 42, Dennis Lupin. McKinney throwing the ball in. Back to number four. Trying to find his passer. Throws it right at Dennis. And that'll be out. White ball. Great defense by Dennis Lupin. He was on an island out there, made the most of it, got the stop, and it's Jaguar ball. And they throw it in, and it hits the backboard. That is an automatic turnover. McKinney ball. Oh, great defense by Colin Scapel. Tips the pass, takes it in transition, goes up for the layup, and he misses it. No! McKinney in transition. Number 20, passes it to number four. To number 12 in the corner. Pulls up for the shot, misses it. Adam Jones and Jerry going for the ball. Same team, but it's out on McKinney. It'll be Jaguar ball with 3.30 left in the last quarter of play here for the JV team. Colin Scapel with the ball. Pass it down low to Adam Jones. Adam Jones goes up, misses it. And that's a foul on number five, Colin Scapel. Jaguars up nine to two. McKinney with the pass in to number 20. Getting trapped by the defense of the Jaguars. Going near sideline. Passes it to number 12. Great defense from Adam Jones, great hands. And they're in transition. It's Dennis Lupin. Passes it out to Colin Scapel. Scapel for three, misses it. Dennis Lupin with the rebound. Another offensive rebound. Adam Jones, the big man, pulling out for three. And he hits it. <laughs> Press break from the Lions. Number four goes up and he double dribbles. Feeling the pressure and he cannot handle it. That is the second double dribble from number four in as many minutes. Jaguars are putting the pressure on and these Lions cannot handle it. Lackadaisical pass from Dennis Lupin. Gets knocked out, steal Jaguar ball. Dennis Lupin with the ball across court to Jerry McElroy. Ricky Rehos for the three. Off the front rim, follows this three up. And he jumps up, lands on his own foot, throws up the shot, and it gets called. That's a travel. Jaguars still playing the full court press. Great on ball defense, and they cause a travel. That is a hold on number two, Ricky Rehost. Number three dribbling the ball for the Lions. Makes a nasty crossover move to the corner. Number three in the corner makes a move on Jerry. Drives in, passes it to number 12, passes it into the corner. Great closeout defense from the Jaguars. Tips the ball, number three in the corner for the three, and he misses it. 
Dennis with the rebound. In transition. Makes a great behind the back move. Dishes it to Ricky Rehost. Ricky misses the floater. And Jerry gets hit with the foul. Got a little aggressive. The Jags are really working their defense, only allowing McKinney two points this whole quarter. Number three finds the ball, passes it to the man in the corner, the lefty for three, air balls it. Jaguars come up with the rebound. Scapel with the move. Going down in and he gets hit over the top. Hey Quinn, how about taking a shot? Quinn, take a shot. Colin Scapel at the line for two. Kenny for the three, misses it. Jack Miller with the rebound. It's a whole new squad out there for the Fly Nine Jaguars. Thomas Kane, Kane Freeman, Jack Miller, Jacob Langley, and Murph Swish Beckham. Kane Freeman at the top of the key. Jacob Langley, Murphy Beckham at the top. Thomas Kane, Jack Miller down low. Gets the baby hook to go. It's a great spin move by Jack. One minute left in the game. Jaguars are up 15 to two. Great move by number three. Cuts through the defense of the Jaguars and he gets the up and over layup to go. That'll be a 30 second timeout from the Jaguars. Check that, from the McKinney Lions. Coach Merrick has gotta be very pleased with how his JV team is playing. We will get an interview after the game with Coach Merrick. Talk about how his team played so far, how he, how he, how he likes how they did, and the expectations that he's going to get for the rest of the season. Thomas Kane with the ball. To Kane Freeman, goes over the top of his defender. Jacob Lindley goes in, gets it blocked. Three from the Lions, and he hits it from the corner. 35 and counting left. Jaguars are up 15 to seven. Kane Freeman dribbling the ball to Thomas Kane. Thomas Kane going into the center, rises up, and he gets the floater to go. Great move by Thomas Kane. And that's a steal by Thomas Kane. Loses it. Gets it back. Oh. Throws it away. It's everywhere. <laughs> Where is it? Four seconds left. Three. And that'll do it for the JV game. JV takes it. 17 to 7 in this quarter. We will be right back with closing comments and an interview from Coach Brian Merrick.
looks like we're staying here for another quarter of JV Jaguar basketball. Along Lexi, Lexi Delormier. <laughs> got that right. I've been asking her all, all broadcast. Yes. Finally got it right. <laughs> Perfect. And we'll be going another eight minutes with the JV team. Start of the final, don't know for sure, quarter of Jaguar basketball. Alongside Lexi Delormier, I'm Trevor Branch. This is the Flower Mound Sports Network. McKinney coming out with some fire to start the last quarter. Number 34 rises up, cannot get it. Thomas Kane with the rebound, in transition. Dribbling through the defender, dishes it out. Thomas Kane for three, makes it. Three pointer from Thomas Kane. Jaguars playing the full court defense. That's a three. That's a missed three from McKinney. Pass to Ben Hanley. Ben Hanley coming down, pulls up. And the Jaguars get the offensive rebound from Prithvi Himenar. Dishes out to Ben Hanley. To Barrett Harms. Barrett Harms to Thomas Kane. Thomas Kane goes into the lane, makes a move, and gets the floater to go. Jaguars start off five to zero run. Kenny coming down, number 21 on the near side. Picked off, and a great behind the back pass. Thomas Kane comes up and makes the layup. Great offensive, great defense to offense transition for the Jaguars. And they get some more easy points. It's a two on one coming down. And number 34 misses the layup, Thomas Kane gets the rebound. It's a four on one for the Jaguars. Pass it to Justin Taylor, back to Prithvi Heminar. Heminar goes up and makes the layup. Nine unanswered points to start the last quarter of this contest. Steal by Barrett Harms. Justin Taylor for three, misses it. Rebound by the Lions. Justin Taylor playing defense, reaches in a little bit, trying to get the steal. Barrett Harms on number 20, trying to trap 21 at the top of the key. And he hits the three. It's a three on two. Barrett Harms down low, misses the layup, air balls it. Prithvi Heminar trying to clean up the trash down low, didn't get it. 21, steps into the middle, passes out to the corner, to the top of the key, number 20, pulls up from three, misses it. Prithvi Heminar with the rebound. Thomas Kane dribbling through the defense. Makes a fake. Short with this could try. Prithvi Heminar tries to come in and get the rebound, but he fouls. That'll be Lions ball. Lines with the inbound to the center, number 20. Number 32, tries to pass it down low. Quick hands by Prithvi Heminar. Lines retain possession. And that'll be a push by number 35, Justin Taylor.
shooting two, number four. And he misses the first shot. Makes the second shot. Cut the lead to 26 to 11. Five minutes left in the contest. Baird Harm for three. And he misses it. Christy Heminard trying to clear, get the rebound. Offensive rebound by Baird Harms. Justin Taylor for three. Tries to bank it in. A lot of pushing and shoving in that pile. Blue ball. Check that. White ball. Jaguars keep the possession. And it's a whole new five coming into the game. Number 42 is Dennis Newcomb. Number two, Ricky Duhay. Number 25, Jalen Wright. Number 40, Jack Miller. And number five, Colin Scapel. Colin Scapel with the ball. Pass it to Dennis Lucan. Gets it to Ricky Rehost in the corner. Ricky passes it up to Scapel. Scapel shoots, hits it off the front rim. And that's a foul by Jack Miller. Got a little aggressive on the rebound. And that'll be a timeout for the McKinney Lions. We'll take the timeout with them. We'll be right back on the Flower Mound Sports Network. It'll be a Lions ball with 4.31 left. Jaguars are up 26 to 11 in the last quarter of this game. We can only hope. We do not actually know. Thought that the last quarter was the previous one. Turned out not to be playing another one. Colin Scapel with the ball. Pass it to Dennis Lucan. Out to Ricky Rehos. Makes the move. Dennis Lucan gets it. To Colin Scapel in the corner for three. Scapel. It rims out. McKinney in transition. Number 20 goes up for the shot. Rebound. It's a three on one. Scapel passes it to Dennis Lucan. And he misses the wide open layup. But they get the offensive rebound. And they miss that layup. And then they get another offensive rebound. Maybe they just need to shoot a three. Slowing the pace down. And they get the steal. McKinney gets the steal. Let's see if they can make the easy layup. And they do. Dennis Lupin with the ball, getting trapped, and he gets fouled by number four. Tried to turn around the corner. Gets the foul. Jalen Wright gets the inbound to Colin Scapel. Colin Scapel cross court to Ricky Rehos. Back to Jalen Wright. Colin Scapel at the wing. And he just throws it away. Trying to find Jack Miller. Didn't even throw it in the area of Jack, but it is what it is. That'll be a turnover for the Jaguars. McKinney High School will get the ball with three minutes left in the final quarter of this contest. Quick hands by Caden Freeman, and he knocks it out of bounds. Number 20 at the top of the key, Ricky Rehost defending. 22 makes the move, gets the screen, goes baseline. Dennis Lupin comes over the top, tries to block him. They call the foul on him. Number 22 for McKinney will be going to the line with three minutes left. 
Jaguars up 26 to 13. Here's the first shot. And he gets it. The JV team syndicating his shot pretty well from the free throw line. And the second shot is good. Barely gets in. Cuts the lead to 26 to 14. Jalen Wright, back to Ben Hanley. To Caden Freeman. Ricky Rehost with the ball. Pulls up and hits the shot. Caden Freeman playing the defense. And he dribbles the ball right into Jalen Wright's hands. Transition offense for the Jaguars. Ben Hanley goes up and makes the easy layup. Jaguars with the turnover and they convert. Foul on Jalen Wright. Fourth the free throw sh shooting one and one. Makes the first free throw. Jones passes it to Ben Hanley. Cade Freeman in the corner, misses the shot. Ricky Rijos with the rebound. Tries to pass it, thread the needle, can't get it. But he gets the rebound back. Not a rebound. The steal, he gets the steal. Pass it to Ben Hanley. Jalen Wright, cross court to Cade Freeman. Cade Freeman, pump fake, and they call a travel. He moved, moved too quick. It's been a long night, Lexi. Yeah, Started it has. at around five o'clock. Reaching 7-10, but we love our Jaguars basketball. That'll be a foul on number 25, Jalen Wright reached in. Thought it might be a travel. Referee did not see, that, see it that way. Minute 41 left, Jaguars up 30 to 15. The Lions will be shooting a one and one. New five in for the Jaguars, it's Jerry McElroy, Dennis Lupin, Jacob Langley, Murphy Beckham, and Jalen Wright. Jerry McElroy with the easy layup. Great pass by Murphy Beckham down in the post. Jerry playing some shutdown defense. Timeout from the McKinney Lions, and we're gonna take it with them. We'll be right back on the Flower Mount Sports Network.
and we're back. Only a minute, 10 seconds left in this contest. Jerry McElroy playing the defense. Jacob Langley with the steal, cuts in front of the pass. Slows it down, makes the pass to Jalen Wright, down to Murphy Beckham in the post, and he misses the shot. Number four, coming down, Murphy Beckham sets it for the charge. Jerry McElroy and Jalen Wright. Jalen gets the foul. Shooting two, number 12. Makes the first one. This JV basketball team has played some pretty sound defense, only giving up six points in these three quarters that they have played. Scoring 32 plus, and in the first quarter through, scored around 24. Jacob Langley for three, makes it. That's from NBA range. Jacob Langley pulls up and makes it. Jaguars up 35 to 17, 35 seconds left in the game and that'll be another foul. This is the first free throw. Shooting the one on one and he missed it. Dennis Lupin coming up. Cross court to Jalen Wright. Down to Murphy Beckham in the post. Murphy makes one move. Jacob Langley. To Dennis. Down to Murphy Beckham. Spin move. Shoots over his defender and he gets fouled. Murphy Beckham getting physical down in the post. Traditionally not a post player, but they know that they can stick Murph down in the post and he will be able to produce. First shot, short. Good defense by Jerry. Five seconds left. Four, three, turnover, and that'll do it. That is the game. We'll be right back with an interview from head coach, Coach Merrick, on Farm Mount Sports Network.
you know, Lexi, it's it's been a great night. Definitely some positives to pull from the Jaguars performance from both the varsity and the JV side. You know, the defense and how, how well they played and, and how the offense started getting getting started a little bit, made some points, started making some shots, and, and it tra and it transformed into a great showing from the Jaguars tonight. Yes, for sure. It was a very exciting game. Started off a little slow, but then they picked it really quick up. They got it going. Absolutely. And Coach Littleton, we talked to him, got the interview from him, and mm -hmm. he was very pleased with how his team played defensively. They went 0 for 14, he said, from the three-point line in the first two quarters yeah. of the game. And then they started making some shots. They played their defense, played well the whole game, got some turnovers, got some transition points, and he knows that that's going to be necessary going up against these really, really good teams that they play against in their district, like a Plano West or an <laughs> Allen, teams that that went very far in the district playoffs last year, Marcus and other teams. He knows yeah. that they're going to have to play extremely well. They're going to have to play very sound defense to to be able to get those, get those points going down late to the game, being able to make the free throws like they did. Things yes, that you sure. can pull from this game that are – extremely good that he can build on. That's why they do this game, and, mm -hmm. and it definitely was a positive for everybody here. Yes, for sure. Very exciting night. Ready for the season to start, for sure. No, absolutely. We are around two hours and 20 minutes into this broadcast. Thank you for joining us on the Fly Mount Sports Network. We will be getting an interview with Coach Brian Merrick of the JV team here in a second as we wait for him. I got to say that the highlights of the game had to be the Christian Edmondson dunk. Oh, dunks. yes. We'll be coming back. For sure.
here with head coach of the JV team, Brian Merrick. Coach, your team played very well today. A lot of offensive points. Your guys were making shots, played some really good defense. Can you talk about how, how you thought your team played? I, I agree. I think we did some really good stuff. The effort was tremendous. We had, we had guys flying around. Um, we moved the ball pretty well for the most part, got ourselves some wide-open looks. Um, but we also – also have a lot to work on, you know, as, as always, as we expected on November 12th. Uh, just like we talked about in the locker room, we, we want to be playing our best basketball in January and February, you know, not on, not on November 12th. So, you know, we did some good stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that we, that we still have to work on. And uh, those guys will get back after tomorrow and keep, keep working to get better. Yes, sir. Your defense played very well. Those guys were packed in tight like some sushi. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. And... They obviously played well throughout the whole thing. What they they have this game so that you guys can see what you guys need to work on. How do you like how you guys do the scrimmage before? As far as the format yeah. goes, um, I, I thought it was good for us. I mean, we got we got three quarters in mm -hmm. um, and got to work on things that we're going to do on Tuesday night when the season opens, and then for the rest of the season because we're gonna we're gonna try to fly around and get after people. We have a lot of guys on our team. And uh, some guys that compete and play hard, and um, with with those kind of numbers and that and that kind of effort, we're we're hoping to, you know, go all out all the time. And uh, thought this format was 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 good for that. Now, when you, when you talk of sushi, what kind of what kind of sushi rolls are you talking about here? We're, we're talking, talking about some. Like, uh, we're talking some spicy like spicy salmon. Some California, some California tuna rolls, maybe some some cream cheese, some some guacamole. I'm, you know. I don't know if I throw guacamole in my sushi. So what's your favorite type of sushi, Coach? Oh, man. Spicy tuna is pretty solid. Um, anything with crab is good. That's Crab's very good tasty. Stuff. All right. That is head coach, JV head coach, Brian Merrick. Thank you for joining us on the postgame show. You Appreciate it, Coach. All right. All right. That'll do it for us here at Flyermont Sports Network. Alongside Lexi, I'm Shepard Branch. Have a good night.